Stone Cold Steve Austin. Oh, hell yeah. What? All right, so since you know nothing about football, I'll let you pick the team first. That's right, I'm a good guy. Oh. Hey. Welcome to the video. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna step out for a bit. What's going on everybody? It is Dylan Lasagna here. Welcome to another video and today we're going to be showcasing all the brand new equipment that I have finally have gone together. It's been a slow but steady project that has come together finally after saving a shit ton of money and now I'm finally broke after investing in all this. But anyway, we are finally about to get into this showcase which is all behind me and that you've seen in this little like teaser for this video, but with that being said, let's get right into it, shall we? Now before we go further into this video, I just wanna give two quick disclaimers. The first disclaimer is actually a shout out. Shout out to my cousin Carl, who you frequently see on my vlogs and in my past like skits that I used to do when I first started out here on the channel. But anyway, shout out to him. He really helped me put this um, PC build together, especially, yeah, the one you see in the back um, he helped me research all the parts, he helped me put the list together, and he just he's just a really big help, and he's a really great PC builder. So, shout out to him, go check out his channel, Carl the OEM, and along with his second channel, OEM Films. But I hope he gets that back up and running, and he and his friends do great stuff with that channel, because they haven't been posting on there lately, but nonetheless, hope he gets that OEM Films channel up and running again. And thank you, Carl, for helping me put this build together. The second disclaimer, I don't know anything <laughs> about these parts. So, with that being said, I have my handy dandy laptop here to help me out. And I have my little list of parts that I listed from seller to price. Because I want to give you guys how much I bought these for. And you can all debate with me. <laughs> If it's too expensive, too cheap, in the middle, etc., etc., and like I said, I don't know anything about computer parts or any about that technology, computer technology. I'm a simple guy just looking to upgrade my the experience on YouTube. So, with that being said, um, if you are looking for any YouTubers or technicians that are <laughs> into this thing, um, go just Google search or YouTube it. Um, this is not. I'm not the guy for that, so I do apologize, and no disrespect, by the way. Aw, oh, man, it's not even the middle of the video, this box is already heavy. I hope this case is in here. Wait a minute. Where's the case? It's just boxes and boxes. Oh, wait a minute. There it is. <laughs> it's right here. Uh, I'm great at bad jokes. But bad jokes aside, this is the first thing that I'm going to be showcasing to you, because this box which is contains the computer case, um, just contains the boxes for all the other parts. But anyway, let's talk about the case first. Uh, this computer case, which is a Corsair MX330, the reason why I got it in particular was not only does it look simple, I just like the simplistic design, but also because I needed it for a particular use. What is that particular use, you may ask? Well, the second part I'm about to showcase, but before I get into that, this thing right here cost me about um, $45, and in total, it cost me around $49 after taxes, so yeah. Living in California, man, taxes can really be a pain in the ass. So, there's life advice for you. So, pretty much this thing in total cost me $49 after all the taxes, but on Amazon you can find it for like $45, so pretty cheap, pretty cheap. But this thing right here, this is why I needed the case in particular. The Asus DVD CD drive. Who uses this in 2019, by the way? <laughs> Me, that's who, for one particular reason and one reason alone. To play this game. This game I've been having for almost 10 years. Grand Theft Auto, the OG trilogy on PC. <laughs> now you may be asking, why not just download it on Steam? Well, I mean, I've had this for almost 10 years and it still works. 
So why not get a DVD drive and pop it into the machine? Duh. That's why. And plus, it doesn't have all the tracks. The Steam version doesn't have all the tracks because of the license expirations or whatever. Like, the, that's why all the music tracks are not there, on there. But with this version, all the music tracks are in there. So, joke's on you. But that's why I went with the DVD drive and this particular case, the Corsair MX330. So, that is that. And by the way, this thing is in a, has like two options. There's a tempered glass like casing and acry acrylic. And with, the, with acrylic, um, I think it was only one option when I bought it on Amazon. And I already have like a couple of scratches here and there. So, don't mess up the acrylic casing. So first up here in our handy dandy PC part list is the very first part that got me into wanting to complete this build and that is the CPU the Ryzen 7 2700X yes there is the Ryzen 5 3600 and the Ryzen 7 3700X but this one it was a really good deal on Prime Day for $199, $218 because of freaking California taxes, by the way. But nonetheless, $199 on Prime Day when I bought it was a really good deal. I could not pass this up, by the way. It has an 8-core count, as I'm looking on here. Although it doesn't have integrated graphics, that's why I had to buy a graphics card. Pretty much 8-core count. I don't know how fast that is, but as I'm using my computer right now, like as it is right now, it seems pretty fast to me, and so that's good enough for me. It also comes with the CPU cooler, so I guess that means how like cool the thing <laughs> the computer like like can handle like when it's overheating, I guess. And it even lights up. It has like the LED LED fan, so as you can see right there, it has like multiple lights, and it's very quiet. It the fan is very quiet, so that's what I really liked about this. So the Ryzen 7 2700X was my top choice for the CPU, by the way. So the second part on our list that we bought. Um, was actually the first of many parts that we bought like very fast like fast paced because I noticed a trend that was happening that the prices of PC parts were starting to like drastically and like not really drastically but start to increase for some odd reason I don't know why this was back in August and I was just like very panicky <laughs> I didn't want the prices to increase any further but anyway this was the second part that on, on our list and this is the MSI X470 Gaming Plus. Again, I don't know any like technical specs on here, even as I'm reading it here on my laptop. But looking at this at the time, it was a battle between this and the B450 Tomahawk. But they were priced mostly the same. I honestly didn't see a difference in this, even looking at this list. Um, all I know is that this supported any Ryzen CPU, especially the one I have, the Ryzen 7 2700X. Um, but it did have the RGB lighting. I mean, that's pretty much all it is. Like, this this thing is perfect enough for me. It cost around $119. Again, pretty much the same price as the B450 Tomahawk, which was another motherboard that I was eyeing for, but this, this thing did have, like, a little bit more benefits to it, but I guess I just went for this. And after all the taxes, it came up to around $130. But, again... This was a very good motherboard. Next up, we got the power supply. Yeah, we can't forget about the power supply. Hey, wait a minute. The power supply is still in here. How is the computer running? That's that's odd. Let's open this up. Why why the heck is the power supply still in here? Hey, why why in the heck is all these screws in here. Oh yeah, that's right. Because we used it during the build. Ta-da! <laughs> so pretty much, yeah, this is the, um, actually the hardest um, of all PC parts that I had to, like, research. Because this is actually the only one that I had to do actual research on, like, hardcore research. Um, because there were, like, different um, there were different kinds of power supplies. There was a modular, a non-modular, and a semi-modular. So the one I had was a semi-modular, and I guess you get 
some cables you were able to like pick and choose while others had to stay onto the power supply non-modular all the cables were there so sucks for you and then full modular like completely modular were like you get to freely pick and choose the cables you want and i just went with this one because like it was on sale on newegg which was the seller i got it from by the way and it was a 600 bronze power supply so i guess that's a good efficiency and i got it on a good deal 60 dollars uh, but unfortunately the freaking shipping uh cut it cut it up to uh 73 dollars so that pretty much sucked ass but anyway this is a very good power supply and so far it's holding up to standards okay my camera is about to die so it's time to replace the battery speaking of batteries if you need a replacement battery for your t7i or your 770 770 yeah. your 77d you could go look for artman batteries don't focus on this thing you bastard you could look for artman batteries yeah Artman batteries. These batteries, like, yeah, it's third party batteries, uh, they do a pretty good job. They do a pretty good job of, um, for 7070D batteries. Like, so far, I have no issues with them, and they do pretty serviceable. Next up, we got some hard drives and solid state drives. So, pretty much storage, pretty much. Unfortunately, I threw away the boxes for that because they had no meaning to me. But anyway, let's talk about those storages, shall we? First up, we had a Seagate Barracuda 3. Point, no, it was only 3 terabytes. Only 3? What are you talking about? That's a lot! So yeah, it was 3 terabytes, uh, 7200 RPM, so that was pretty fast. It's $80, so that was a pretty good deal on a 3 terabyte hard drive. And pretty much, I'm going to use that to store my games under the recommendation of my cousin Carl. So, thank you, Carl. Um, and for my solid state drive, which I'm going to be putting... Um, all the other stuff that I'm going to be putting on my computer, again, under the recommendation of my cousin. Uh, 500 gigabytes. I did want to go a terabyte, but I don't know. I may may not do that later on, depending on what I'm going to be using it for. But again, I guess I'm going to have to move all my editing files to an external hard drive. So that, I guess I'll have to do that. So I guess 500 gigabytes will do for now. I got this for a good deal for like $64 uh, before prices tax and rang it up to like $71 exact so speaking of which uh, seller wise I got the Seagate Barracuda at Outlet PC and the Solid Slate Drive the Western Digital at Best Buy another thing that I threw the box away for <laughs> was the Corsair Vengeance the memory the RAM I got the 32 gigabyte version of which contained two sticks of 16 gigabytes of RAM DDR4 3000 um, I guess that's fast, right? <laughs> I guess that's fast. All I cared about was like the modules, like the two sticks of 16 gigabytes of RAM because I'm gonna need that for when I stream, uh, for when I'm doing PC gaming. So hopefully those two, three, two sticks of 16 gigabytes of RAM, 32 gigs in total, will serve me well. And I think I made a good choice on that. Pricing wise, this was another um, expensive, um, pack of the bunch I got this for $144 originally it was $154 like so another $10 before I had to price adjust it after I bought it so overall it cost me actually it did cost me $154 like final after the price adjustment so pretty much I, I got it like for $154 originally but after price adjusting it after it shipped it cost $144, so I got saved $10. Alright, now back into the box, shall we? Um, I guess we'll talk about this. So, up here, we got some fans. As you can see right there, these sexy white fans right here. No racism. <laughs> we got some Corsair um, AF120 LED white fans. These are low quiet, uh, low like no low late low noise uh what what have you and so far so good um i thought these were gonna be like super quiet but like you can still hear it a little bit um i don't know if you can hear it in the background but nonetheless it's performing its job uh you got two in the front one in the back i replaced the uh fan by the way it's in here um i don't know if you guys want to look at it but let me know in the comments below but anyway these fans are performing like super well i'm you can now see what's inside of my PC case, 
my PC case. Um, it's not super dark as it was before, but overall, these fans, I don't have too much to say about it. It does well. It does well. Now, we can continue into the box. And we've got the most expensive one <laughs> next. Now, yes, this was the most expensive one, and rightfully so, I guess. The graphics card. And as you can see by the logo, it's MSI. And it's MSI GeForce. 1660 Ti Gaming X. I don't really have much else to say about the card, so good night. No, no, no. Anyway, the reason why I chose this card in particular, uh, no, yeah, I chose it because it'd be RGB lighting. But no, seriously, I thought it was the best all around. Um, I had to do a little bit of research because there's like a bunch of graphics cards out there. Um, there was the one like this model, the 1660 Ti that had triple fans. Um, but I don't think that was going to be able to fit in my case. But So I just went with the next best thing, the Gaming X. And I heard a lot of good things about it. I really did. Unfortunately, it only has one HDMI um, output, so that sucked. But I did make the most out of it in order to uh, get the, the double display. So I got myself like a display port to HDMI. So it is what it is. It is what it is. But as for this, um, this actually serves pretty well. This graphics card serves pretty well. Um, I haven't gotten around to playing a PC game yet, but hopefully, hopefully, we get to try it out. Oh, and I forgot to mention that thing cost around like $300. The, this graphics card right here. I forgot to mention, I forgot to mention this graphics card right here cost $300. That's why it's the most expensive in the build. So pretty much after taxes because of freaking California, it costs $330. Yeah. So all in all, though all those parts cost me around $1,027. So not too bad for like a, a moderate build for what I'm doing, which is like all around stuff like gaming, streaming, editing. But it was pretty expensive, like if you put it that way. It was pretty expensive. But that wasn't even the finished build. That was, my build wasn't even done yet. My, all my equipment was not even here yet. So let's get into the extra, shall we? Starting with, starting with the big bad boy right here. The Elgato HD60 Pro an upgraded version of my OG Game Capture HD. Why did I decide to go for this? Well, even though I'm sacrificing portability with this internal um, Game Capture card, I am getting live game view. That means there will be no delays. I won't we have to be doing every time I record. So every time I'll be recording, I'll be freely syncing with the game. So. Pretty much, no lag. This thing did cost $150, um, unfortunately, and tax again brought it up. I won't. I forgot what it was. I think it was like oh, $164, like after all the taxes. So, a bit of a sacrifice, but um, I got the HD60 Pro. Next up, we got our monitor, which is playing a Troy Dan video. Um, I've been yeah, I've been watching a lot of Troy Dan videos. Um, because of how erratic his NBA 2K videos are anyway. But anyway, the monitor that's in the back playing a Troy Dan video is an Acer SB220Q, yes that's a mouthful, 21.5 full HD 75 hertz refresh rate computer monitor from Amazon. Yes, that was a mouthful. Fudge. I got this from Amazon uh, for like $90 uh, before taxes brought it up again for like $104. So, like the original price, not too bad. Not too bad for like in, in, in the middle of refresh rate, I guess refresh mate, rate mate. The refresh rate means, I guess like there's like, it refreshes the game, the gameplay. So like the, the 60 frames on my TV, like will be a little bit slower to the refresh rate I get on my monitor. So there's that, but Overall, I like the, the, the small size of my monitor. It doesn't take up as much desk room as my TV does. 
and I did want to add a third one, a third monitor, but I don't really see a need for it at the moment. But I do like this one right here. I really do. It's simple, it's effective, and I, it's just really enjoyable to see. Next up is my speakers. As you can see right there, is the Logitech Z200 speakers, which goes around for like $20. Um, you can get it on a really good deal if you're lucky on maybe Black Friday or like, I don't know, a deal of the day. I got this for like $20, um, $22 brought it up after taxes again um, at Best Buy. So it was a pretty good deal. It was a pretty good deal, okay? Um, and these speakers, normally I have problems with speakers because of how short the, extent, like the extension cord is, the power adapter cord is. And that's what frustrates me about speakers. This one, however, in particular, no bueno this one did not have a problem at all um i guess it's because like i ha i don't have this i don't have the shelves on my desk anymore or is the po power cord is long but there there were no problems with setting up these speakers and the sound quality of it is really good just take a listen no! But overall, I really like these speakers and the design of it is very sexy. And even though it does take up a little bit of room, it, it's just really cool to see. Now, if you remember a year or two ago in one of my Christmas showcase videos, I got a gaming keyboard for my big brother for Christmas. Thank you, big brother. I didn't really have much use for it at the time because I didn't have this computer or this monitor or any of this equipment quite yet. So I didn't really have a use for it the gaming keyboard yet now i do now i have this rig now i have all this equipment now i can use the keyboard and boy it's really good to use it's quiet it lights up like every time i type it feels smooth it's just really great to use it is really great to use so i had to go get a mouse to complement uh, my new keyboard because i'm going to be able to use my computer without a mouse I mean, what was I gonna use? Use a keypad or something like that? But anyway, I went out to get a mouse and the best option out there was a Logitech G203 wired gaming mouse with RGB lighting. I'm not really into like all the fancy like gaming mouses that are really expensive. But anyway, um, I got this on a really good deal. It was like $27 uh, before taxes brought it up to 30. Thank you, California again. But I got this at Best Buy. It was a really good deal. Um, so it works well. It works like very well for what I'm doing. I'm, right now I'm just like browsing the web and like editing a little bit of videos here and there. But this mouse works very well. I really like how, how smooth it works and it just really complements the keyboard with the RGB lighting. This was the thing I bought before the Ryzen 7 2700X for some odd reason. And that is this thing right here, the Elgato Stream Deck. Let's give a little bit of emphasis on this right here. Yeah! The Elgato Stream Deck. Now, the reason why I bought this right here was for streaming purposes, obviously the name, Stream Deck, um, so I can have access to whatever I'm using for for streams. Um, hopefully I can implement it in Dylan Lasagna live streams um, down the line. Um, I still have to figure out like how this thing works, but when I do, it, we're gonna have a lot of fun with this thing. Uh, I got this on a good deal for like almost like this thing normally ranges to like $150, but I got it for like 90, I think, on on a GameStop sale. So that was pretty good. It was pretty good. Last but not least, in this very big box, we we needed Ethernet because um, I was told that Ethernet is the way to go um, unless. I had to go for a Wi-Fi card, which uh, I guess I had to go Ethernet. So I had to go to a local store to get an Ethernet cable. Unfortunately, it turns out I don't have an Ethernet port in my room. So I had to go out and on Amazon and pay some extra bucks to get this thing. Uh, it's a TP-Link. It's a TP. Tee-hee! It's a TP-Link um, Ethernet adapter. Um, it's like... If you, you plug it into one end of the one end of your room, and then you go to the to the internet route router and plug it in there with another Ethernet cable. Which, by the way, I did not know this came with uh, two pairs of Ethernet cables. Unfortunately, the other one is not as long as the one I bought. 
So I ha I just saved it. I just saved it. But the internet, like in here so far, it does very really well. It does very well for what what it does. As for pricing, I got this on a good deal for like twenty seven dollars. Unfortunately, the pricing, the final price of it was kind of high, like thirty five dollars in total, which is pretty high. Which is pretty high. But that's pretty much it. Um, so for all this stuff, I spent about like thirteen. Fourteen hundred dollars. <laughs> that's yeah. That's a lot of money. I spent a shit ton of money on this build. Not only that, th this camera right here, it dates back all the way to this year. <laughs> so I saved a shit ton of money just for you guys, just to improve this channel. Now, just because I bought all this stuff does not mean it'll make me a better YouTuber instantly. Yes, it'll look nice, just like how NBA and WWE 2K games look nice, that doesn't mean it. the quality of my videos will be better, the, con the qual content wise, I still have a lot to do to improve myself. So this is just one step forward, but I have to make it the most of it count still, if you get my drift. So pretty much in short, I got all this equipment um, to upgrade the channel, but I still have a lot to do content wise uh, to make it work and hopefully I continue to do so moving forward. So thank you all for watching. Thank you all for checking out this video. Um, yes, I am not uh, a computer nerd and no disrespect to you all, all of you um, computer tech channels out there on YouTube. Um, this is pretty much a, a video from a non tech geek describing all these computer parts that he just bought showcased right here right now but if you enjoyed this video leave a like or leave a dislike leave a comment tap the bell subscribe i am dylan lasagna and always be delicious and i will see you all in the next video and i'm out